but you can tell how new it is because for something that lives at sea, it's incredibly clean. And now we're going to explore it, all of it. This multi-billion dollar platform delivered its first oil in 2019. It's called the Appomattox, after the town in Virginia where the American Civil War came to an end. And it's one of the most extreme deep water projects ever attempted. Weighing a colossal 124,000 tons, almost 10 times the weight of the Brooklyn Bridge, it draws hydrocarbons like oil and gas from under the seabed, separates them and pumps them ashore. This isn't just the story of a massive structure built in the middle of the sea. This is the story of how humankind has made the seemingly impossible possible. I'm here for the next four days, so first I need to get my bearings from the man that runs the place, Todd Coulon. Hey, Richard, welcome aboard, Todd Thank Coulon. You. Nice to welcome see you. Welcome aboard, Appomattox, man. And you say welcome aboard. You're you're basically the captain here, aren't you? That's I'm, the, I'm the OIM, the Offshore Installation Manager of Appomattox. Now, if you're from Louisiana and fluent in Cajun, then you're probably following this conversation just fine. But just in case you're not, I've asked for subtitles. Sorry, Todd. Well, I mean, yours is a pretty unusual job. Before I did this, I worked on shrimp boats, so I've been working in the Gulf since I was 12 years old, man. Shrimp boat? Shrimp boat. Since you... So, then, yeah. that is just Gulf running through your veins. That's it. It's in my this blood. Is, this is where you are. That's it. I got salt water in my blood. So, talk me through what's what. Over there, you see the process module. So the process module is where we produce the hydrocarbons and do the separation before we export it. So that's the business end? That's the business end. And we got utility modules over here. We make our own nitrogen, make our own water. We treat our own sewage. And then we got a power module over here where we, we make our own power. Here's the living quarters. And we got over 30 miles of pipe on this facility, over 300 miles of electrical cable on this facility. It's, it's just unbelievable how big this thing is. The platform's design of four multi-level modules built around an open square with a crane in each corner seems simple enough. The real challenge for the engineers was the extreme depth of the sea it would stand in. A 10-year-old me would have said, it's easy, we just build big long legs that go down to the sea bottom. But each of those legs would have to be about five times the height of the Empire State. That's building. correct. 7,400 feet of water. This is a floating facility. So this, all of this? All of this is floating. Talking about 137,000 tons in the original design, and this thing's sitting there floating. So this really is a floating, self-contained city. That's correct. 